Hello there folks, I'm Dan Brown from sortofinteresting.com and as some of you who've watched some of my other videos may know I'm quite often wearing some sort of weird camouflage clothing um, Well, I thought I would take a random moment to address this and just say a few words on my random Jack Pike camouflage clothing obsession So, I suppose it's um, time that we really got to it uh, To it Oh no, that's awful. <laughs> so then, let's start with what on earth you just saw on my hand. And um, believe it or not, it was just a relatively normal glove. Um, if I flip it over, you might instantly see that it's much more um, of a glove to look at from the underneath. Uh, yeah, so these are a pair of Jack Pike, um, I believe it's LLC or some, some acronym like that, um, Lightleaf Camouflage or something to the effect. A uh, pair of Hunter's Gloves, um, obviously the top is covered in all these 3D leaves, also printed in the English oak pattern. And yeah, why on earth do I own these? Well, that's a very good question as... I have got no interest in hunting, I'll just point that out now, um, and I've no real need of camouflage. I do watch a bit of wildlife off the back deck, but nothing that I think requires quite this excessive thing. So I'm currently wearing these as just a random normal pair of gloves, which I don't know, may amuse or annoy or goodness knows what other emotions it might invoke in anybody I pass. Um, so yeah, those are my little gloves, uh, rather humorous, or whatever you wish to think of them and me. So, let's move along. Um, this is the sort of more famous um, Jack Pike English Oak uh, pattern. This is just on a random t-shirt that I own. Uh, it was this pattern that I first saw on a hunter's jacket um, way back in 2009 in Scotland I believe and I just thought it was the most amazing thing I had ever seen and so I've stumped up the money and bought myself the jacket and from there I suppose my random Jack Pike obsession has grown um, I'm currently trying to repurchase one of those jackets as I had a proper big waterproof hunter's jacket and a proper big waterproof uh, pair of trousers in the same pattern which were awesome to wear together but very very warm unless it was exceptionally cold outside with the trousers um, but unfortunately in the craziness of last year I sold them in order to get money to buy a power kite uh, so I'm looking for one of those on the cheap but I suppose from from purchasing that I've just become obsessed with Jack Pike stuff uh, yes so that's the English oak pattern, which is the, like I say, that's the more famous one that you see a few people wearing coats and different garments made up with that pattern. Um, they also sell a lot of just normal looking clothes, as well as various hunting accessories and things like that, which, like I say, I've got no interest in hunting. I don't endorse it or encourage anybody else to go out hunting anything or so on. So they have a lot of um, just normal things, so I have this uh, standard uh, Thinsulate marked um, balaclava for when I'm riding my bike in the cold nights and mornings well, and days as well um, so that's just a relatively normal garment but something that I find incredibly useful already after only owning it for a while is this um, simple light mesh camouflage uh, balaclava with a face cover uh, net too. Now I was hoping this was going to be slightly more substantial as I wanted something just to sort of keep the chill off my face when I was on the bike and then obviously buying this off the internet I couldn't tell exactly how thick it was so it turns out it is literally just a mesh net but when I pair that with this over the top being able to have my entire face covered with this very light mesh has proven to keep the chill off my face when I'm riding my bike in the cold mornings absolutely amazingly and because it's so light instead of how you get the condensation on the inside from your breath with this one 
if I pull this open to let my whole face uh, show through, this still keeps the breeze off me and keeps me nose from feeling like it's going to fall off, but is thin enough to let almost all of the moisture out when I'm breathing. So that's something that's turned out quite well. So I'll be keeping that um, light mesh balaclava too. And I suppose, finally, if I flip this around, ta-da! Um, this is what I believe is the, um, well, it says wild trees on it. And I'm not sure if it's wild trees and grassland. I'm sure grassland is involved in the um, title of this general camouflage pattern. Uh, somewhere but as you can see this is just a standard long sleeve uh, shirt so yes that was just a completely and utterly random video uh, with no real rhyme or reason but just people generally ask me or mention the jack white clothing every now and then on me videos so I thought I would just give you a quick rundown um, yeah I suppose I'll put a balaclava on or something so that you can see that <laughs> So then, until the next time, check out sortofinteresting.com. I apologise that this has been a completely and utterly random video. Um, hopefully somebody somewhere has found some sort of interest or amusement in it, even if it's just me sitting here now like this. Um, yeah, check out sortofinteresting.com and I'll see you around soon. But will you see me? Ooh. Now that's an exit.